You shall die! Minecraft has been around for more than a decade. Yeah, that's a pretty long time. Here's what it looked like when it was first released, and here's what it looks like now. Uh, how did we get here? Well, it all started in May of 2009, when Notch typed some numbers into his computer, and then BOOM! The first version of Minecraft is created, which was called Cave Game at the time. Today on the entire game content menu is some grass and cobblestone. Pro tip, don't walk off the side of the map or else you'll fall into the void forever. Sorry, flat worlders, but the world is isn't flat anymore. The terrain has depth. New building blocks just dropped too, like dirt, stone, and planks. Saplings are also added, but they aren't strong enough to grow into trees yet. Um, Notch, it's lonely being on this floating cube in space. Can I have some friends? Okay, and if you press G, you can now reproduce asexually and spawn in Steve's that'll run around you. Now Notch thinks his game is ready to go to the public, so he changes the name from Cave Game to Minecraft. The first version of the game is called Classic. Nothing is really added right away, but you can already see the pioneers of building, making things like stone and dirt Mario. Bedrock just got added to the bottom and sides of the map, and there's also an invisible wall keeping you from leaving. Water and lava are added too. Don't worry though, you can't die from the lava because you're stuck in creative mode. Alright, I think if we made a cool little lava fall right here, that would be a pretty nice addition to our base. Uh, oh, oh. What the f***? Yeah, you may accidentally flood your entire world with one source block, but hey, look at this cool stone dinosaur. Trees just got added, but for some reason they look like the ones I'd make when I was five. New elements and stuff, we got coal, iron, gold, sand, and gravel. These blocks now spawn naturally in the world and in your hotbar. Tired of flooding your own house by accident with lava and are pissed off about it? Well now you can take your anger out on someone else in multiplayer. Multiplayer is great, everyone thought, but a problem is is that there are no women just Steve. So Notch adds skin changes, and now you can become a female even if you are a 37 year old man. Instead of watching your house fill up with lava or water, you can do something about it with the newly added sponges. Some players even made a giant sponge wall just to be safe. Whoa, 16 new wool colors just got added to the game, as well as flowers and gold blocks. Whoa, 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 whoa wait, is that, is that lime wool called chart reuse? Since so many new blocks are being added, you could press B to open your inventory to see all the available choices. Ah, the game is looking beautiful. Splashes of color left and right, flowers and divine blocks. Even the first Minecraft music, Calm, was added. A builder's dream. Then Notch took creative mode away from everyone and put you in survival with creepers. If that wasn't terrifying enough, zombies, skeletons, and spiders are also added to try to kill you. You weren't completely screwed though, you now have arrows and TNT to defend yourself, pigs to kill and get edible mushrooms to regenerate health with, don't try that in real life by the way, sheep and some other building blocks. Which brings us into the in-dev stage. The first thing added to in-dev was, was, was a woman. Oh my, you are so beautiful and I, I am so goddamn lonely on this island, would you please be my girlfriend? Wait, no! Oh no! We got some cool new stuff though, like swords, shovels, apples, armor, and a quiver for arrows. New world type options were added as well, like floating, islands, flat, and original. And if you get sick of those, turn it to hell mode and replace all the water on the map with lava! Speaking of hell, flint and steel was added so you can accidentally burn down an entire forest. Then, one of the most monumental updates happened thus far. Notch got rid of infinity flowing water and lava. They were then re-added two days later. And now, you are given 99 source blocks of each. Notch, what the hell were you thinking? Man, I, why would you ever do that? Random mossy cobblestone cubes now generate in the map, and they have chests with TNT and wool inside. A new ore just got made, and it is very durable. An item called a gear was also added, and it has no other use other than to spin around and around and around and around. NPCs like Black Steve and Steve are born, and then they got removed two days later. Whoa, you 
you can craft stuff now and actually have to grind for your items instead of the game giving them to you. Since we can craft now, you can make crafting tables, which can be used to build things like golden tools, mushroom stew, and bowls. Beast Boy from Teen Titans was added for some reason and then got removed a few days later. Suck at the game? Now you can set it to peaceful mode or if you're a, if you're a true Minecrafter like me, of course, you can set it to hard mode. Giant zombies now spawn naturally in the world. Uh, okay, maybe peaceful mode doesn't sound like a bad idea. Start your farming simulator experience with the newly added hose and grow stuff like wheat. Paintings can be made and you can spice up your living room. Just look at this painting called the wanderer above the sea. So ominous. Oh nice, we've entered the inf dev stage and the world has become infinitely generated. Some natural spawning landmarks of this version were the farlands, giant brick pyramids, and an obsidian wall that marked the center of the map. Notch decided to give you 1000 of every block, don't question it. Also, or spawn differently. Mine diamonds at Y11? No thanks, I'll find them in the side of this cliff. The world is becoming more realistic, with bigger trees, smoother hills, 3D clouds, and larger caves. Water and lava aren't infinite anymore, it's about damn time, and you can gather some by using buckets. Every Friday for the next 9 weeks, Notch did something called Secret Friday, where he would add new items and features to the game, secretly. Pro tip, the void just got added, so make sure not to fall off the map or you'll die. For Secret Friday 2, those mossy cobblestone cubes now have spawners inside of them that spawn monsters. And they also contain legendary loot like saddles, which can be put on pigs. And boom, we're in alpha version now. We got redstone items like iron doors, levers, buttons, and pressure plates. Want to have a relaxing time mining for diamonds on a Saturday night? Here's some cave sounds. For the first time so far, we have a new biome, which was really the same old biome, but with snow and ice. You can get snowballs from them and throw them at things. Cactuses just got added, and so were cardboard boats that broke if you hit a microscopic spec. Need something new to farm? Try using reeds, aka sugarcane, which can be used to craft things like paper and books. Slimes existed, then got removed the next day. Ah, nothing like chilling out after a day of mining while listening to 13 or cats with your pet chicken. Now survival multiplayer exists so you can grief someone's base that they worked for hours on. <laughs> look at that, look at that mysterious man with white eyes that just joined my world. He's just, he's just standing there minding his own business. Wait, uh I'm on single player. The first ever Minecon happened in a park in August. It had 30 people attending it, most of whom were not just family. For the last Secret Friday, we got compasses. Rip Secret Fridays, you will be missed. At least we got a one-time Secret Saturday that added fishing rods, crouching, and some paintings. I personally am a big fan of pig scene. The Halloween update happened on Halloween, which gave us the nether, some nether blocks, pumpkins, gas, and pigmen. Don't feel like getting materials for another portal? Spawn one in by pressing F4. The overworld also got new biomes like deserts and cold tundras. And we're already in the beta stage. New employees have just joined Mojang, like Jeb. The first ever cape became obtainable, and Deadmaw5 got some nice mouse ears. If you're having a birthday party, make some cake for you and your friends, or just eat it all because you have no friends. Taiga biomes, birch forest biomes, lapis, and squids now populate the planet. Smack this block and you can make music. Some people even go on to make entire songs with them. The content in the game itself isn't the only thing growing though. Minecraft has just reached 1 million sales, and these two guys called the Yogscast are starting to dominate the YouTube Minecraft scene. Set your spawn with the bed, just make sure not to use it in the nether. Wolves exist and are tameable with bones. If creepers weren't scary enough, if they get struck by lightning, they make much deadlier explosions. This can also happen to pigs, but they turn into zombie pigmen. More plants, more redstone contraptions like pistons and trap doors. So addicted to Minecraft? that you need to bring the game wherever you go, like the bathroom? Introducing Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's Minecraft, but since iPods are too weak for the nether, here's a knockoff version called the Nether Reactor. Beta 1.8 is the biggest update so far. It added strongholds, mine shafts, new foods and mobs, new biomes and caves, villages, sprinting, and on top of all of that, Chess got a new opening animation. Oh my god, that is nice! Mods for the game are also becoming popular, one of which was the Ether mod. 
mod. Notch actually planned on adding a sky dimension, but it never happened. Beta's over, now it's time for version 1.0. We got the first boss fight ever, the Ender Dragon, which meant there had to be nether fortresses, blaze rods, potion brewing, an enchanting system, more new biomes, and now you can force animals to breed, then murder their children in front of them. Iron golems dwell inside of villages to protect the villagers. They drop roses if you kill them. All they ever wanted was a friend. Oh cool, there's an entire economy in the game based off of emeralds. You can use these to trade with villagers. Oh hey, villager, what will you trade me for this stack of emeralds? Free bread, take or leave. <laughs> oh sure, that is a great deal. I'll take your whole stock. Speaking of villagers, they live in the desert now. There's also temples with elaborate traps there and in the jungles. Stop building a giant dirt pillar at your house to find your way back home. Use a beacon instead, which can be made by killing the wither and getting a nether star. Cool, there's potatoes and carrots now. Just one more thing I can rob the local village out of. Quartz starts generating in the nether, and it can be used to make some pretty divine and fancy blocks. Um, Notch, can you make redstone more complicated than it already is? Okay, here's some hoppers, daylight sensors, redstone comparators, and a dropper. My trusty steed, we are unstoppable. Nothing will ever kill us. I love you. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. What the, what the f*** is that thing? Minecraft just hit an all-time high in relevance. That's pretty neat. This guy called Sky Does Minecraft, who worships butter, dominates the entire internet now. You can make a religion out of this. Don't want to buy Minecraft merchandise? Well, sucks for you since there's going to be some in every aisle of the store. More new biomes like acacia, roofed forest, and ice spikes are being added. Also, this disgusting looking block. Baby zombies not terrifying enough? Throw them on a chicken. Here comes the bountiful updates. It added diorites, granites, andesite, and coarse dirt. Okay, these blocks suck. Make sure your hostile mob sound is turned all the way down or else you'll shit yourself when you boat past a prismarine temple. Microsoft just bought Mojang for a small price of $2.5 billion. Notch then leaves Mojang and goes on to make some controversial tweets. One of the first things Microsoft decided to do was allow name changes, which made everyone happy. Then everyone got pissed because axes and shields became the entire PvP meta. Some people are even fighting with end crystals. Boats don't suck anymore, but if you hate boats, you could fly using an elytra from an end city. Polar bears are added because Jeb's wife liked them, along with other mobs like strays and husks. If you dig around for a bit, you may come across a giant fossil. But what creature could this have been? Maybe those giant zombies that spawned in Indev. I don't know, just a game theory. Minecraft just hits 100 million sales. That's more than how many people live on Earth. Woodland mansions are brought into the game, and they have angry men inside of them. And if you kill enough of them, you can become immortal. Minecraft Education Edition is released, which is made for schools to teach with? Well, what the hell? Why, why isn't my school used this? Llamas sit at the top of the food chain. Mess with them, and they'll spit on you. I'm not gonna lie, these oceans suck. Let's add more mobs like fish, turtles, dolphins, and coral reefs. Oh, shit. The RMS Titanic just crashed into these new icebergs, and now there's a bunch of shipwrecks and underwater ruins everywhere. Sleep deprivation will spawn phantoms, and the entire player base hates them. Those guys from the Woodland Mansions? Yeah. Now they ransack villages with their crossbows and big ravagers. Like, <laughs> come on. Ransacking villages and stealing all their stuff? How scummy do you have to be to go that low? Villagers start making decent trades, and you can force them to breed in small houses for a mending book or two. Foxes live in taiga biome, and pandas live in bamboo forests. Please, Puffles, stop eating. That is your sixth serving so far today. Please stop. The Minecraft movie is announced, which is my childhood dream come true. Next updates had bees and honey. Well, now the game is dead, but it had a totem of undying, and some Swedish guy revived it. Then some green blob helped keep it alive. Before after. Oh, well that's a big change. Sir, I gave you 34 gold ingots and you traded me five gravel in some string. That sums up the nether economy pretty well. Everyone voted for Glow Squid as their next president during Minecon Live. Totally wasn't rigged or anything. Mojang is finally listening to the community and is giving us a cave update, as well as bigger mountains and goats. And that's where we are now, over 10 years later. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a date with the love of my life. Thanks for watching.